No one, I repeat no one, expected Sam Levinson to be this cruel. Or maybe we just didn't want to see the truth, as seems to be the case with most people in Euphoria. Reality isn't always what we want it to be. So who is the major character that was killed off in Euphoria's season 2 finale? And who will be returning in the new season? Find out at the end of this video. First off, what are some of those loose ends of season 2? Because there sure were a lot of them, but given that we're still trying to hold back tears from everything that happened, maybe Elliot's song wasn't as unnecessary long as we all feel like it was. Would we have been able to know what has become of McKay? He just wanted some closure from Cassie, but wasn't just confronted with Nate's borderline sexual harassment. He also had to save him from Fezco's violent outburst. No wonder he disappeared after bringing Nate to the hospital. And who is the third child in Nate's family portrait? The infamous portrait has gotten a few good theories, including one where he's tied to Fez's little brother, who was found in a basket of his grandmother's door. But there's nothing to prove this theory has any truth to it. When it comes to Rue, who had an unexpectedly a good day in that crucial last episode, there's absolutely no way that Rue will get away with having nothing to show for taking that $10,000 suitcase filled with drugs from Lori. Speaking of which, what was that scratching noise behind Lori's door? Do we even want to know? In any case, the season finale left it all annoyingly unsaid. Hopefully, we'll recover just enough from what did happen to be able to handle the answers when season 3 of Euphoria finally comes out. Speaking of which, when is season 3 of Euphoria coming out? The makers of Euphoria obviously knew that we were in for a lot of heartache, so they made sure that we wouldn't also have to worry about a new season at all. On February 4th, they released a tweet on the official Euphoria Twitter account, saying Euphoria has been renewed for season 3, which was to be expected despite harsh words from critics about the show's graphic content. Since the beginning of season 2, more than 30 million tweets were published about the messy lives of East Thailand, making it the most tweeted about show of the decade. So when can we expect the new season to be aired? Hopefully it won't take another 3 years, but no new has been released about any dates. Zendaya's schedule is pretty full for the coming time, so two years is not out of the question, though there are high hopes for a few more special bridge episodes before that. Hey, we're not complaining. We'll take any fix we can get, and as long as season 3 is coming, all is well. News that Sam Levinson will still have the reins in hands the coming season has some people a bit put off. The choices he made were not all received with appreciation, if any, but we'll just have to wait and see what he comes up with before we judge too harshly on things unknown. Next, who will be returning to Euphoria in Season 3? It's only reasonable to assume most of the cast of Euphoria will return for Season 3. Zendaya's role is a bit of a given, despite all the death rumors that keep popping up their ugly heads. Her sharp rise to fame does mean there's a good chance we'll have to suffer for another two years before the new season airs. But Chief Content Officer at HBO, Casey Bloys, has already told TV Line that she's going to be in Season 3. It's hard to imagine doing the show without her. Some little birdies are also whispering about a possible Tom Holland cameo. Zendaya herself admitted to Entertainment Tonight that she did discuss it with Tom. As far as newcomers Dominic Fike and Chloe Cherry, both have made it known that there's a good chance that they will become regulars. Fike seems to be absolutely sure, while Cherry has only hinted. Of course, Fike struck a bit of a nerve with his never-ending song, but that doesn't mean we can't forgive him in the time it would take for the new season to come around. And Faye showed her true colors in the very end, winning a little of our trust after a somewhat questionable start. After all, we do have a broken heart after the season finale killed off one of the most feared yet loved characters. There's little chance new friends will actually mend it, but we could at least try. But before we break your heart, what are some theories about season 3? With the season ending on a good note, Rue being sober and seemingly on the mend, fans hope the new season will focus on her getting healthy. Rue does say that she remained sober through the rest of the school year, but that also looks like there's room for a relapse. And though she seems to have forgotten, we think that Lori isn't just going to let go of a $10,000 suit case. Aside from that, a lot of bets have been placed on Fexi, the romance between Fez and Lexi that seemed pretty solid, with Fez even on his way to Lexi's play with flowers and a letter, contents frustratingly unknown. Both Agnes Cloud and Maud Apatow have made clear that they are in. One person who remained slightly unseen throughout Season 2 was Kat, but Season 3 seems like a good time for her world to fall apart. No one knows about the fact that she is a cam girl, but secrets don't tend to stay secrets in Euphoria. Don't leave just yet because you're about to find out why fans have a lot of extreme feels. Few of us will truly recover. Maybe none of us will ever forgive him. So who is the major character that was killed off in Euphoria's season 2 finale? And are they really dead? There's no way around it. We've waited as long as we could to break the news. And with it, your heart. Let's just get it over with. Coming up, who died in the season finale of Euphoria's season 2? We still can't believe it. And if there's one thing in Euphoria we can all agree about, it's this. Ash deserves 
deserved better. Fez deserved better. But life is harsh, and Sam Levinson has proven himself to be unforgivably cruel. After episode 7, we knew very well Fez and Ash were in trouble, but nothing could have prepared us for the trauma that was to unfold right before our powerless eyes. And though Fez did everything he could to try and take the fall, the dominoes had already started to fall. Ash had already shown how ruthless he could be, and when Custer reveals himself to be a real threat, Ash attacks him with a box cutter. Ash loves Fez more than anything, even his own life, which is why when the police inevitably surge the house, he does exactly the opposite of what Fez begs him to do. He hides with all the firearms he can find in the bathtub, and while Fez is desperately trying to save both their lives, Ash opens fire through the door, even accidentally shooting Fez in the stomach. It would have been kinder if that was it for Fez, but instead he's forced to witness how Ash shoots and kills an officer, after which one of the red lasers is pointed at his forehead. A gunshot is heard, a body falls, and though we never see the body drop, there is no doubt Fez was given the same mercy. So is he really dead? We never see where Ash is truly hit, and though it's hard to believe anyone shooting a kid in the head, he did kill an officer. But Javon Walton seems to have other ideas. In an interview with Esquire, he said that he hopes both Fez and Ash won't only survive the most heartbreaking scene of the show, but that they will be reunited in season 3. With Fez in jail, I feel like he's definitely going to get out no matter what. It's painfully obvious that Ash loves his big brother a little too much, which is why Walton believes Ash will find his way back to Fez. And while we don't want to crush his demons, on a more realistic level, it seems like the show has dealt with a problem we're probably very unwilling to acknowledge. Because despite the fact that only a year had passed in the Euphoria universe, by the time season 3 comes around, Javon will be about 17. It would be hard to pull off playing a character that's supposed to be 13 at most. It's no one's fault. Nothing was to be done about the delays the show had to work with, and we sure can hope Walton's wish will be granted. Maybe the time-lapse theory isn't that far-fetched after all. And that was it. We're absolutely heartbreaking that it had to be Ash. How are you feeling after the roller coaster that is Euphoria? Do you think that there may be a chance of Fez and Ash finding their way back to each other? Let us know down below, and thanks for watching.